Imagine finding a seemingly ordinary 10-cent coin in your pocket, only to realize it's worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Many collectors are fascinated by coins from around the world, but today we'll zoom in on two specific coins from Australia, the 1966 and the 2010 cent coins. Both of these coins have hidden gems that can turn heads in the collecting community. Whether you're a seasoned coin collector or just curious about the potential value hiding in plain sight, let's explore why these coins are so special. The 1966 Australian 10 cent coin. To appreciate the 1966 10 cent coin, we need to go back to a pivotal moment in Australia's history the switch from pounds, shillings, and pence to the decimal currency system. On February 14, 1966, Australia transitioned to the Australian dollar, and with it came a new set of coins. Among these was the 10 cent coin we're discussing today. The coin was designed by Stuart Devlin, an Australian artist celebrated for his intricate and beautiful coin designs. The lyre bird, featured on the reverse side, is a nod to Australia's rich wildlife. This bird, known for its incredible ability to mimic sounds, is captured mid-dance with its extravagant tail feathers fanned out, showcasing the artistry and attention to detail that Devlin put into his work. Now, let's talk value. The 1966 coin is relatively common, but the key to finding a valuable one is in its condition and any possible errors. A well-preserved coin with minimal wear can easily fetch between $20 and $100. But there are reports of rare varieties with missed strikes or unusual errors that can raise the value significantly. Imagine a 10-cent coin selling for thousands just because of a mint error. Collectors actively seek these variations, and those with unique minting errors have been known to go for as high as $1,000. Even more fascinating is the dual minting of the 1966 coins. Australia outsourced some of its coin production to London and Rome. Coins minted in London might have subtle differences from those minted domestically, which can add to the coin's intrigue and collectible appeal. If you ever come across a 1966 10 cent coin, check for minting marks or any slight differences, as these could be the key to unlocking hidden value. The 2000 Australian 10 cent coin. Moving ahead to the year 2000, the Australian 10-cent coin remains largely unchanged in design. However, there are unique aspects of this year's minting that make it exciting for collectors. The most talked about variation is the double die error on some of these coins. When you look closely at a 2000 10-cent coin with this error, you'll notice a slight doubling effect, usually on the date or other prominent features. But why does this doubling error matter? Well, coins with doubling errors are highly prized among collectors because they are relatively rare. A standard 2010 cent coin might be worth only face value, but one with a doubling error can jump significantly in value. Some of these coins have been known to sell for hundreds, or even thousands, especially if they are in excellent condition. To spot this error, you need a good magnifying glass or loop. Check for overlapping or slightly duplicated letters and numbers. Even a tiny doubling can make a big difference. In the world of coin collecting, small details like these create big value. Interestingly, the 2010 cent coin also attracts attention due to the broader minting variations found that year. Australia uses multiple mint facilities, and the quality control across them can vary slightly, leading to these unique errors. For collectors, this makes the 2000 coin not only a historical piece but also a potential jackpot find. What makes these coins valuable? For both the 1966 and 2000 coins, their value comes down to rarity and condition. If you have one of these coins that has been well cared for meaning little to no scratches, dents, or discoloration, then you're already holding a valuable piece. Coins that are uncirculated or that haven't been used in everyday transactions tend to be the most valuable, they retain the original mint luster, and are much rarer than circulated coins. Now, the big value jump often comes from errors or variations. These unique differences, like the doubling effect on the 2000 coin or misalignments on the 1966 coin, make them rarer and therefore more valuable. Serious collectors are willing to pay a premium for coins with these anomalies. How to preserve and identify valuable coins. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these coins, the best way to preserve it is by storing it in a coin holder or protective case. Humidity, temperature, and even just handling the coin can affect its condition, which in turn affects its value. When you're handling valuable coins, always hold them by the edges and avoid touching the faces to keep oils from your skin from affecting them. And if you think you have a coin with an error, consider getting it appraised. Professional coin appraisers can give you a better idea of what your coin might be worth in the market, and they can also verify any unique features or errors that could significantly boost its value. 
So whether you're looking through your pocket change or digging through an old coin collection, keep an eye out for the 1,966 and 2,000 Australian 10 cent coins. You might just stumble upon a hidden treasure. These coins are proof that sometimes value isn't just in gold or silver, it's in the little things we often overlook. So take a closer look at that next 10 cent coin you find. It might just be worth more than you'd expect.